Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to create our room in 3D Smax and after that we will render it but today we will optimize our model and uh, uh, we will delete the, some edges and we will weld some uh, uh, vertex uh, in this video so let's gonna start first uh, I will go to the tools and I will uh, uh, I need the uh, Scene Explorer and I will switch off all except the walls. So let's uh, hide everything except the walls. And now we will working only with walls. So click on the wall and let's go to the editable poly and now we need age. Uh, as you see here uh, so many ages, uh, we don't need them. Uh, so we need the later. Just double click on the sum age. Uh, not on the sum, actually uh, here as you see we don't need ages, we need to save only these two ages be, uh, under the door but these two, these uh, three ages and let's say change on this one and switch off that uh, weld and these uh, ages I don't need it. So how to delete? Uh, just double click on the age and after that control backspace so we will delete edges. As you see, if you will go the vertex, uh, we don't have any vertex. So don't use delete. Control backspace. So let's go back to the edges. Double click on the edges. Control backspace, and we deleted that. Uh, we need. We, uh, we will save only this edge. So double click on this edge. Control backspace. Delete. And let's continue like this. Overall. Here also uh, we'll, we'll, we will leave uh, only this edge, this one I will delete, control backspace. And let's do it here only one again, control backspace. Again here only one we'll leave, and this is two I should leave here. And the same thing inside uh, inside our building, so uh, double time uh, double time click on the uh, this edge, control backspace, delete. And this two. So finally, we get it. This is our model now, and now we need to optimize our vertexes. Actually, we can delete this one too because here the plane, and here we can also delete this one. Here we will delete only this one. Yes. Okay, nice. Now we optimized our model and let's go to the vertex. So and again, go to the vertex, and we need now. Uh, let's find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Target weld. Vertex. Uh huh. Target weld, and we need to uh, weld this vertex and this one. So we should get uh, this like uh, this the shape for that side, and here too. Sorry, uh, Control Z, target weld this one to this, and that one to that one. What's happen? Okay, and uh, just continue. Okay, and that one. Also do it inside. Here. Here everything okay, and here you need to do that. And, oh yeah, you see, we forgot to del delete that. Just double click on that, control backspace. Now again to the vertex, weld, and let's weld it. This one, that one, that one is this one. Okay, uh, it seems we are finished. Right, we are finished. Now we get uh, our room with low poly model. Uh, it's only 70, so, uh, 73 uh, polygons. This is really nice result. 
and now we can continue work with this floor and no I think we will continue with walls too and now let's go back uh, to our model I will use the polygon I'll choose everything and now clear all the smoothing group and after smooth okay now everything seems okay now I will use the border for the for for, for the inside and uh, after that we will uh, switch uh, switch on to edge and now we need to uh, just to unselect what we have outside only inside inside uh, I mean the edge is only what we have inside so don't have any oh this one and also we don't need small one like this let's check it okay and this is uh, our shelf we no need any edges here and inside the door also no need let's delete okay now everything seems okay uh, so what we're gonna do now uh, we will go to the create shape from the selection and we will choose the linear and let's say okay now I will go to the tools and we can see our shape now. So what we did. So uh, let's select our line, what we did. Uh, let's go to the selection, everything OK, everything OK. So unselect them and now we will switch the window for some, some other window. I will go to the uh, splines and line spline. Uh, make sure your snap right click uh, this is grid points it's on and let's drawing it I need around 10 centimeters so it's 50 centimeters uh, I'm looking here 50 centimeters 70 centimeters and yeah uh, 10 centimeters uh, so now uh, I'll draw something like this one this one this and I will close it okay nice uh, double time escape and choose our spline previous one let's go to the edit and here uh, we need to find uh, modificator sweep let's find modificator sweep this is modificator sweep and we need to choose use custom selection and pick let's pick our one actually we can delete uh, delete this one spline now Let's go back to 3D and as you see we get uh, our shape. Uh, let's back on our uh, wall and floor living and check it. Yes, now it's wrong, but if we will go to the modify and here the sweep parameters, choose this point and now everything OK. Yes, it's look OK. So uh, now we need to uh, actually uh, a bit edit our spline, just uh, let's convert it to editable poly and I will switch off everything except this uh, spline and as you know guys we no need uh, any polygons uh, near with the wall so because we cannot see that so I will use the shift just hold shift and uh, we will loop everything so and delete and same with that one click on the one polygon and hold shift click on the other one and let's delete and let's continue with that one shift delete and here too and this one we don't need also and that one too Oh, no, this two we need. We need that because we have like this. Okay, nice. And we no need the one on the bottom side. We no need all of them. Let's do like this, it's so long time we'll take it. I will select everything and after that I will 
use and unselect like this. And now we can easily delete that one. So did you see how many we deleted, right? But if I will uh, back my wall and floor, you cannot see anything what we deleted because we cannot see them and we no need this uh, polygons. So now everything looks okay. Yes. What else? Uh, we need also the... Uh, we no need actually because we have the this one thing. Okay, nice. Now we need to create uh, our uh, our door and our window. I think we will download it uh, from, for example, 3D Sky, and we will place it here. Uh, I think we will do like this. So let's load uh, our door. Uh, I have uh, some door here already. Let's import them. Uh, import merge. This is my door. Okay. And I need only this two, not any helpers, camera uh, and bone system, uh, lights no need also. Okay, let's import them. Here the door. Okay, nice. Now we need to place the door. Let's place it. Uh, this one. So uh, I'm using the snap. I will switch off the grids point and I no need here any grids. I want to clearly see what's going on here. And from that side. Okay, click on the door and let's do it. Like this. We, but you see the our thickness of our door, uh, our wall it's bigger than my door. So we will uh, we will now correct them a bit, extend the door. and a bit more like this okay <laughs> now we need reduce just yes like this no much actually I did much but okay let's check it okay yes now now it should be everything be okay Okay. Yes, we will live like that. Okay, nice. Uh, so uh, let's go to the other view, front view. Here, and I will use the wireframe mode. Okay, like this. And as you see, our door it's bigger than. Uh, our hole. Anyway, we will correct them now. Let's place our door on the right position. Let's first. Uh, I will switch off what I no need now. I no need uh, toilet floor. I no need any floor now. And I no need this shape also. Only the only door and walls. So from that side. To this side and now you can see our door it's much bigger than uh, than wall so we can uh, we have two ways we can change the door or we can change the wall so as you understand I will change the second one I will change the wall uh, let's choose this uh, polygon and move it till here okay nice and now we need to uh, switch on on the scene our uh, shape and we need also fix it up just select them and polygons this polygon and that polygon we need shift it here now everything okay yes so it seems it looks it looks really not bad now, and we can move this door on that side too, on, on here. I will switch off the snap. I will copy it instance, 
I know you I, I don't want to change the door and I will rotate them on 180 degree like this okay and uh, let's place it on the second position here let's check it on the on the top again i wanna use here warframe mode this position so when i'm clicking the position if i'm clicking this position right uh if i will uh, choose the my object its uh, object will go only this position what i choose for example i'm choosing this position and uh, Whenever I will go, I will move my mouse. It will go only this position. So it's really useful. Click on this position, and let's correct them till here. And now we need. Oh, sorry, it's my mistake. Now this position. Till here and now we need to extend only this wall okay we will do that just click on the wall let's go back in 3d choose this wall and let's extend it till here now we need only correct that one. Like this and right click. Okay, let's go back to 3D. Oh yeah, about the high. Height is also different. Also we can uh, change uh, what we want by top like in Revit and here also ah here it's everything okay so uh, what's going on here we don't matter because we will uh, render only inside if uh, we will render of course outside we need to matter um, uh, we need to think what we will gonna do here but we are not matter about that so uh, here are our doors let's switch on everything tools Oh, you see, <laughs> I forgot uh, the handle is here. Let's copy it to like instance. How I can forget about that? Okay, it happens. And let's rotate on 150, 180, sorry. Okay, and like this, I will switch off the snap, okay, like this, nice, so we should save it now, and let's continue, and totally same story I will do with the window, so uh, I already have the window, I will leave a link where you can download it, uh, import merge uh, window and I need window number six not helpers and blades where is my window here my window so let's rotate them uh, I need to rotate first light 180 uh, now I will use the this one let's go to the top view and I will use again the snap first I will do like this and after and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time